Welcome. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> cup, of, cup of tea. Very exciting that you got some power to have this call and get like a couple of hours work done, but you're about to lose your borrowed power cord. Yeah, I thought I had it for the next few days and then Jen said, oh, yeah, just to get you to charge it up then and I'll take it back. It's like, oh, no. But because um, it's the small power pack. God, the young guy, Saga, it's here. Yeah. This is the small guy power pack it's for the um air yeah yeah so i've got to keep it on charge the whole time it is at 100 percent, but i've got to keep it on charge the whole time so yeah she's coming shortly to take my power pack <laughs> 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 so, so. Now, i've been madly trying to get some sponsorship emails out and finish off some of that stuff before she comes but anyway it's all good we got time for a chat though all righty so um, what uh, she said that there was food left for you. What did you actually have? She left pulled pork for me, mm -hmm. which I haven't actually had yet. And then last night she brought up some chicken and um, prawns. So this is like being at a resort. You're getting like waited on hand. <laughs> it's, like, it's like having you here. It's great. <laughs> oh my God. I, know, I just manifest another journey. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, dear me. Dear me. But um, it's interesting yes. though because it's actually a bit of entrapment you're actually like locked into the property oh my <laughs> maybe, god it's... maybe you're being forced to unplug and forced to um that's so crazy yesterday i realized because i had no uh power so therefore no computer at all like i can't even like type stuff on the computer so it was like okay so then I go, oh, I might just watch a bit of TV then because what, what the hell else am I going to do? So I switched the TV on, I got halfway through a movie and then it just like the whole thing just went off. I was like, right, okay. So is it TV or is it just Netflix? Well, I can't quite work out what it is actually. So I've written to the owners to find out. So Jen came up last night and we were trying to fix it that we can get the TV to go on, we can't get the stereo to go on. That shouldn't stop the Netflix at least picture coming up. So I, I don't know, something's not talking to something now. Right. All of a sudden. But I haven't tried it today. Um, but yeah, so that went off. So I was like, right. <laughs> now what the hell am I going to do? <laughs> I was like, totally unplugged here. So I, I sort of sat by the pool, really, because that's really all that was left to do. So it didn't really require power. So I don't know. But I'm going to have to say, and then I couldn't even leave because Jen had the key to the gate because there's a, this is an estate. So there's a key to the gate right down the bottom of the estate. Mm -hmm. um, so I can't even drive out of here. Is that your housekeeper behind you? Yeah, it is. We have a housekeeper, a pool person, and three or four gardeners. Not all together today, but that's so the this is a totally exclusive resort, right? You're getting food delivered <laughs> to you. <laughs> Uh, you, you've got a gate that's locked you in, so it's some sort of like retreaty type of detox or something because you can't it's get sort of out. like being at Vipassana or something where you can't leave. Um, yeah, it's really funny. And I'm going to have the same situation again because this cord is going to go and you're not here until Wednesday afternoon. So basically for another two days, if I can't get the TV to work, I'm basically just here. I saw a message from Jen saying she was asking if you wanted some fruit. So now you're getting that delivered. So that'll see you through for food. Because <laughs> I said I wanted to do a, a juice fast. So, um. <laughs> so it's pretty cool that they left uh, the car for you, but you're not even going to get to drive it. So I'll get to drive it. You'll get to drive it. And we've got a quad bike as well. Have we? We have. Why don't you take the quad bike down to the shops then? Oh, I can't drive a quad. You know that. She's, what are we going to do with Mosey? Like... Uh, true. Put them in the front. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, that makes it good uh, to know that you can just take the like one of us can take quad bike down and get a few. I assume we can drive it. I haven't spoken to them about it or anything. It's in the drive, so I don't know. I should ask Jen about it when she comes off, actually. But yeah. Um, yeah. So we've got it there. It's got a little basket on the front, so it's fine. Like I just don't yeah. know that Rosie and in, in it. But no, um, it's a pretty rough road getting down. Like when we came up. I mean, I've only travelled the road once, obviously, to get here, but. Um, it was pretty full on, <laughs> like they are, they're all dirt roads, but it's actually quite steep because we're right up top here on the top mm -hmm. of the hill. So, which gives us our nice view, but it also means that we're pretty steep. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know that I'd fancy sort of 
jumping back in the car because you know I haven't actually driven that much like for like I don't know maybe four years I suppose <laughs> and it's the other side of the road and it's the other side of the road. It freaks me out a bit well there is no side of the road here because it's all like so well small, but sorry other side um, of the car other side of the car yeah um that does freak me a little bit but um but isn't, know, that, isn't that amazing though it's like you police trained performance driving um expert you did courier driving which is like mental driving in sydney yeah, and kind of. now you pretty much just sit back and be a passenger you're turning into a bit of a uh I won't say princess, but definitely a bit of the uh, the goddess side of like just I think sit, back, sit, back, sit yeah. back and have have everyone wait on you. Where did that come from? <laughs> it's the, my inner goddess coming out. It's not princess stuff. No, it's no. my inner goddess coming out finally. Mm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny with the driving thing. I don't know. I'm a bit freaked out by it. I think that, yeah, like in Dubai when you said I was sort of driving in the middle of the lanes, like across lanes. That freaked me out a bit, and then because uh, it's also nuts over there. And then I don't know. I think of um, I don't know. I think I'm a. It's it's partially a bit freaked out about it, and then also I just can't be bothered because I did do career driving in Sydney and drove around Sydney all the freaking time <clears throat> with work, like with police and, well, and career. So also, I'm a bit over it. Also with the police stuff. I mean, when you were saying you you know you were taught to sit right on a tailgate of the car in front of you and all that. I'm kind of glad you don't drive because if you were going to do that, that would freak me out. <laughs> I'm good at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all driving I can do. <laughs> I can do that cool, you know, that cool manoeuvre that you see in the, in the movies where you, you uh, reverse and then you flip the car around and you drive forward. I can do that. Yeah. That's not right. very Are helpful you- for you right now because you won't even drive down the hill in a four-wheel drive car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I drove in East Timor, which was all like this. It's not like there was, it wasn't even a road most of the time. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't actually know what it is, to be honest. I probably should get to the heart of it at some point. But mm. I'm a little bit freaked. And maybe it's because it's other people's cars. If it was my car, it wouldn't worry me. Actually, it probably is that now. I really tuck into it. I think it's other people's cars. I'm a bit sort of concerned about running off the road <laughs> or hitting something. <laughs> <laughs> but it was mine. I'd probably just jump in and drive. It wouldn't work. Well, the funny part is that even like on Barbados, which is driving the same as Australia, which would normally give you a lot more confidence because it was a little tiny, like half a, half a slice of bread type of car, and uh, you wouldn't even drive that. <laughs> well, you had the license. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to get it next, and you didn't. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Yeah, uh, although that was weird too in Barbados because being back on the right side of the road, like the Australian side of the road that I'm used to, actually was really weird because when we were driving along at times, I'd be like, what are we doing here? Like I know, my you, mind kept, you kept like, saying to me, are you on the right side of the road? I'm like, I know. Yeah, fine. <laughs> yeah, it was really weird. It was like, oh, shit, my area had to think. And I think that's the other thing that freaks me out is that I would have to really think about what side to be on all the time sort of thing. Like a like I wonder. A, I wonder if there's like a um, a muscle memory thing or something involved in it. So it's like the, all the training that you've had in yeah. the different driving. It's all sort of so automatic that it's only automatic in that side of the car. Like you know, your left hand is on the gear stick, not your right hand. Um, your indicator, you know, oh, that's can change mm. models of cars. But um, yeah, just all those sort of like things that you you don't consciously think about. Oh, so it's got to be maybe that. Yeah, so maybe your totally. maybe your autopilot is so heavily programmed. Oh my god, this is a metaphor for most of your belief systems. <laughs> you get so heavily Thanks, programmed yeah. that you have to really deprogram. It takes a while to deprogram. Tell me about. So I'm actually not helping you by actually taking over driving all the time. No, probably not. But I don't want to. I don't want to learn back in Costa Rica. <laughs> Shit, right. Um, yeah, it, it would be. I mean, I've driven so much um, up until we left Australia. Yeah. So, um, you know, like my whole life was driving sort of thing. You know, 12, 14 hours a day I drove. So, yeah, it's got to be totally programmed. But um, no reason why that can't be broken. But, um, yeah, I noticed when we were in the US and I drove that short distance, you know, when we are out in Utah and yeah. you were really tired, so I took over, I was finding it really difficult to be on that side of the road I kept wanting to drift over all the time. And so I was actually 
it was actually making me really nervous trying to stay on that side of the road. It was a really bizarre experience. And I was like, okay, I do struggle with this. Like, um, as much as I can be a passenger on the other side of the road, no problem, and start to question what side of the road. When we go to Barbados on the other side, it's like, oh, this doesn't feel right. So it actually feels quite natural to be on like the US side. As a passenger. <laughs> as a passenger. Yeah. So behind the wheel was really freaking. You gotta love the irony of this as I'm talking to you. I just had the low battery sign come up, so rather than letting it uh, drop out, I oh, you can just chuck, plug, just plug my charger in, huh? Yeah. I'll just plug your charger in. That'll fix it, no problem. And yeah. there we go. Okie dokie. Um, well, so th there you go. So hurry up and come down here. All right, so you've still got the charger now, so you have got a bit of work that you can get done before Jen comes up. So I think we get off this call so you can get what you can get done. Thanks, babe. That's great. Awesome. Just thanks yes. for looking after me. Yes. And I've yeah. got to finish my little deadline thing that's actually um, overdue already anyway. So very special project, that one. That one will be revealed in about another few months' time. We'll be able to share. Which I'll that. review that to everybody, and it's going to be very exciting. Yes, right. so, so you get on to that. I'm finishing my submission for it right now. An important now. project on the go. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Lots of surprises. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> yes. All right, babe, we'll catch you in a, uh, a little bit. I'll try and catch you before um, I send this through anyway. So. All right, yeah, I can see a little proofread. Do you want to have a little look outside? See what okay, I'm looking show at? the view then. Because all we're seeing it is in your sunglasses. Oh, is it? Oh. There you go. Nice. You've got to love an infinity pool hanging off to the side of a mountain. That's pretty cool. It looks pretty <laughs> sweet. When I was sitting there yesterday on the pool chairs, it actually is a really fantastic because it just drops, drops straight into the jungle. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> After the St. Lucia infinity pool and the photos we took there, by the time we take photos here, it's like we can just start a collection of infinity pool um, you know, beautiful shots. Yeah. I reckon this rivals uh, St. Lucia. Really? I'm interested to see what you think. But yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Mm. Yep, I think yeah, she's pretty up there. Alrighty. It's exciting. Okay. All right, baby. I shall see you. See you a little bit later. A day and a half. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye.